Hello everybody, my name is Walter and today I want to show you how you can build my simple inverted 2x2 two two piston door. If you're looking for the corresponding showcase or word download, you can find those linked in the description. But let's get started. So this build is a total of eight blocks wide and six blocks high with the door just reaching into the floor you would walk on top. The door itself is also only one block long, three blocks if you count the front and the back wall. To build this door as shown here, you're gonna need some building blocks, then two obsidian blocks or immovable blocks, one half slab, and a transparent block. For this here, I'm going to use a stairs block. Also one slime block. For redstone components, it's two redstone dust, two redstone torches, two repeaters, two comparators, 10 observers, four sticky pistons, two node blocks, two hoppers, and a single lever as an input. And with that, it's time to show you how to build this door here. Start by placing the three blocks you can see here, which mark the future door frame. So at the bottom left and the top right, we have obsidian blocks or immovable blocks. And on the left side in the raised position, we have a transparent block. Since this will be part of the visible wall, I'm using a stairs block here. You could also use, for example, a glowstone block or a sea lantern or something like that. Important is that it is not a full block, so it does not transmit redstone power. Once you've done that, it's time for some observers. We start with one on top of the stairs block and going towards the right. And another one, same orientation, running into the stairs block. Then from the second observer, we need one facing downward or going downwards in front and another one below. From this last one, one towards the left then one towards the bottom, and then one towards the right, and a second one towards the right until we run into this obsidian block there. Then place a node block on top of this observer with some wire on top. In this gap here, we need a repeater running into the observer there. On top of the repeater, another observer running into the wire, and into that observer, a comparator. Then we will need two hoppers facing each other behind in that Comparator. On top of the right one, place a block with a torch to the left. This will be our input, so let's place our lever here and turn it on since we want to build this in the closed position for now. And then place three items inside of the right hopper. Next, wrap a slab and place it next to this obsidian block here so we can place a comp Parator, which takes an output from this hopper there. That one runs into a full block with a torch on the side of it. Then we go two blocks down and place two blocks here, wire below the torch and a repeater on vortex here. Then below the block with the wire, we need a node block. Then left of that, an observer, which runs into a slime block with a sticky piston to the face. And now all that's left is placing the other three sticky pistons and this kind of spiral pattern. And with that, we are pretty much done. So let's simply flick the lever. And you can see the door opens. And if you flick the lever again, it closes again. And all that's left now is filling in the front and the back wall and a bit of the floor. When doing so, it can be a bit tricky to figure out what to do with the slime blocks. So there are two options. You can either have those blocks here moving with the slime block or you can have an obsidian block there. Doesn't really matter which one you go with, except when you're going with the movable block, make sure that there is actually space below it to move so there is not an immovable block or more than 11 blocks below. And uh, how this looks you will see after this little cut here. And here we go. So as you can see, I have now finished this up. I also decided to go with the normal blocks there, so when the door opens, they are actually pushed into the bottom and you see a bit more of the side of the door. Um, I think this looks a bit nicer in the sequence and a bit more interesting, but uh, you can also use uh, obsidian blocks or similar there. But with that said, we have reached the end of this tutorial for this inverted 2x2 piston door. I hope you enjoyed it and well, see ya!